today we're going to learn how to braise some pork shoulder. The first step of this is we're going to sear the pork with two tablespoons of canola oil in a hot pan. You want to get even searing on all sides so it will be a light brown color and slightly crispy. Make sure your pork is seasoned properly. We're also going to be adding one diced onion, um, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of salt, some two bay leaves, paprika, and some chili paste. And at the very end, we'll be adding four liters of water. You just want to bring your pork up to a simmer and then put it in an oven that's been preheated to 250 degrees and you will cook it for six to eight hours or you can put it in overnight and it can braise as long as you want until it's falling apart tender. So now that your pork has been braising for six to eight hours, you can take it out of the oven. You're gonna want a colander in a bowl. Careful, the bowls will get hot. And then you just strain your pork out of your braising liquid. You can reserve your braising liquid for a soup or a sauce. So now that we have our pork out of the oven, we're gonna make our bul bulgogi sauce. So you need a kitchen uh, food processor. We're gonna start with half an onion that's been diced, two tablespoons of garlic, and two tablespoons of ginger that have been minced. And we're just gonna process that for a couple seconds just to mince it up a little bit more. Um, we're going to then add our rice vinegar and our tamari, which is a, an organic gluten-free soy sauce. You can use normal soy sauce if you wish. We add a quarter cup of brown sugar to balance the acidity and saltiness of the sauce. A tablespoon of sambal to give it some spice. And then we're going to slowly emulsify some canola oil into this mixture. Um, you just pour it in slowly through the top of the food processor so it has a second to come together. We then mix our pork and our bulgogi sauce in a frying pan. We reduce it a little bit so that you can um, thicken the sauce. So for your two kilograms of pork shoulder, I would use about half a cup to a cup, depending on how salt, salty and saucy you want it. And you just cook that down until it's a thick sauce. So we'll take our bulgogi pork and you put it on top of your nice hot green onion cake. We tend to serve this with a steak knife. It's just easier to eat that way or you can fold your green onion cake in half like a taco. On top we'll just put a little layer of kimchi. It adds an acidity and a brightness to the dish that you normally wouldn't have because the bulgogi is quite salty and savory. So it just amplifies the dish a little bit. Um, we garnish it with some toasted sesame seeds and some green onions. You can use chives or whatever you happen to have around. Some sautéed onions would be good as well. And here we are with our bulgogi braised pork on a green onion cake with kimchi, sesame seeds and green onions.